and we're we're back in the game. Really fast heads out from Barcelona, passing down again. A really fast game so far. We have some watchers uh, from Barcelona and Spain as well. We see here a rob defense by one of the Barcelona players. So we're playing this game is to decide who's going to make the ninth or tenth place in this tournament. And we have in white Barcelona and in blue Zurich. And hard attacking, hard attacking and just with two at the goal at the basket goes all from the referee. Do you hear us now better? Is it louder now? It was, yeah, free throw, but already in a struggle, but still at the bottom. And they're breaking, trying to break through. And Barcelona is stopping. A little bit like this, but they are fighting still at the ground. Mm -hmm. Another referee call. Free throw for Zurich, struggling. We see the Barcelona defense really set up really good. Um, Uh, is the sound too loud or too low? If it's better, you can tell us. Um, so we here in the fifteen fifty. This is game fifty of Champions Cup two thousand nineteen. Uh, right now, Barcelona playing in wild. They attacked the first few minutes uh, really hard on the Zurich goal. And now we're back at the Barcelona basket, Zurich trying to establish an attack from the close side of the corner. Um, but they got into a scrum at the surface right now. So, I think it's this one. Is it getting better now? Maybe we don't talk enough, that's the reason they don't... I, can, I can try it just to try to talk louder. Um, we have here a scrum at the surface right above the Barcelona basket, trying to push um, the way away from it. So it Ball broke dropping. through right into the arms of the Barcelona goalie, passing forward. But there are already three Zurich players down there to stop the counter attack. And, and now Barcelona passing forward, heading over to the basket from Zurich. Defend is already there. So we Another have an attack. Yeah, but it's a Barcelona attack trying to get uh, over the goalie to execute the attack. And one of the Zurich players broke through with the ball, starting in a counter attack, but at the surface, coming from above, one against one. Trying to pull away the Barcelona goalie, but uh, Carlos Santiveri, one of the forwards, recovered the ball, trying to pass. There was nobody there. Back to the goalie, and now they're breaking through again over the middle line. We see here Camilo Conca, and that's a referee call. That looks like a two-minute time. Penalty for Barcelona. We couldn't see quite why. Or is it just a team warning? They are separating off teams. One of the. Yeah. No, it's a timeout Barcelona. And. And it's a two, time pen two minute time penalty. For Barcelona, 
Now we see here, I think it's Camilo Conca Reyes here at the penalty bench. And it was a kick, says Colombo. Do you hear us again? We have some electricity problems here at the swimming pool. Um, it's an old one. So we start this um, with a free throw for Zurich. Trying to go in over the close corner here. Many Zurich play players helping each other, but number one, Albert from Barcelona, got catch of the ball, trying to pass and get over the middle line. We see here a nice forechecking for Barcelona, but they get all. But the Zurich players are doing a really good job in recovering the ball and stealing it away from the Barcelonans. It's quite equal in this moment, and it was in back and forward, breaking through, recovering from, from both sides, an attack from Zurich, and well defended recovery from the ball from Barcelona. So I think we have two equal teams here. Another referee call. Free throw for Zurich against Barcelona again. We have a lot of uh, Spanish underwater rugby players here supporting the Barcelona team in the live chat so far. 118 persons watching. We have here um, forward trying to catch the ball but three Zurich players here but he managed to still hold on uh, the ball drops and Barcelona recovers it but tackled away by one of the Zurich players number seven and that's what what we saw before already like going back and forth very very fast recovering losing recovering losing and that's really strong strong playing like you need a lot of condition to do so because it's energy consuming to to struggle like this. Barcelona well defending the basket so it will be difficult for Zürich to come close to the basket and score successfully. That's now there is a real a chance. chance. But Barcelona already more people and Zürich just less like three to two or four to three or one to two a term yeah and that's when you are not enough people it's really hard to succeed against uh, made majority i think you really noticed the three days of playing here um surrey really wants to win um barcelona as well so they're fighting about ninth and tenth place here and we we see two teams um, who play nicely underwater accompanying each other trying to get in there now we have for a few minutes um, a hard heavy attack on the Barcelona basket and it goes up to scrum at the surface trying to push here towards the Zurich basket away from their own basket and we see nicely two players down there, but one of the Zurich players oh. got it. And that's another referee call. And it's a free throw for Zurich. So we see a lot of... Like, Barcelona is really depressed um, in getting towards the other goal to break free out of defense. And we see a lot of free throws against Barcelona here. So Barcelona defending the goal the basket really intense and Zurich is always coming close close but finally not succeeding so why do you think that's that's the reason what is missing 
I think so far nothing is missing. Both teams are doing a good job. We have like here one minute left in the first time. We we don't see any. Um, we haven't seen any goal here yet. But Barcelona and Zurich defending and attacking in waves, playing good. Um, but I think Zurich is a little bit more um, physical, um, trying to strongly uh, scratch away the balls. And right now we have another referee call. It's another free throw against Barcelona for Zurich. But we see some of the Barcelona players talking to the referee. And that's halftime. Hello. Um so no sound we no image no we know so to every to all the Spanish people I think everybody here in the chat um who's chatting Laura Colombo Diego and yeah no um we had a quite tense first half so far both teams really attacking really strong trying to uh, do the fur checking as well. Uh, so far, no goal. So far, no goal. But I think still a lot yeah. of chances in there. And if the Zurich team sticks together in their actions close to the basket, Barcelona's basket, I think they could succeed very well. Sometimes yes. they are struggling alone. And another strong partner would then, I think, score. But that's always like a thing from outside. It's watching, it's much more easy, and commenting is much more easier than being down there. And doing the score. Yeah, we like we have the overview of the game. Let's see what Barcelona changes. They have some spare players here. And I don't know how many uh, players are there for Zurich. Do you have the team list? Yes. Let's check. <laughs> Fifteen for Zurich. So it See. should be a full set on the bank. As well. Everyone okay. So they, I think player. maybe both teams are doing substitutions. We see here nicely um, both teams talking. They will really want to win this. It's ninth or tenth place here. What you're playing for, and we see also some Barcelona support. The one who's hanging in there in the pool is um, John. He was injured in Kratz, so he can't play right now. No. Oh. Yeah. And we see nicely the Barcelona girls here supporting the team. And now we have a mental scream from Zurich. Second mic is very low. We just pull it up a little bit, but I'm trying to talk louder. But our voices are a little bit uh, tired of three get three days commenting the games. But I hope you understand us very well. So break is nearly over. Teams yes. going to start prepare to get started for the second half of the game. So I think they discuss shortly the strategy. They want to run in the second half to just yes. finally win the game. Let's see if there is any change. Yeah, it would be really... There was, I think they changed. I think number 11 and number 4 Barcelona got out. And we see here uh, number 21 as well. He's playing as a goalie. They changed. I don't know who <laughs> came in. Ah, 27. Jorge came in for him. Um. And here we go. And there it is. Ten Zurich minutes. really fast, almost Basel. It was like millisecond. Um, the 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 Zurich team arrived earlier, but we have we see a uh, uh, rolled up position of one of the Barcelonans passing to one of his teammates, and an attack from Barcelona to the Zurich basket. Oh, sorry for dropping. Things like this will happen when yes. you don't want them. And this is all just destroying the Another call. Opponent. It's another free throw against Barcelona for holding without the ball. We didn't count, right? Or was it it was already? like all the time free throws against Barcelona. It's a little bit sad to see that um, because we see 
it's been tiring three days, but we see um, really fresh teams here. They playing in at the bottom. They're playing together. They attack in in waves. So it's really um, sad to see that there are so many free throws um, for particularly one team here. But they manage. Are they trying to manage to break free? We have a scrum at the surface right now. That's also what's happening quite a lot. You have an attack on one um, goal. And then it ends in a scrum at the surface. They take the ball up there, trying to break through. We have an attack on another uh, basket. And another scrum. And another scrum. So yeah. right now we see three Barcelona players here to um, score. That's and a that chef trying to score. He's still on ball possession. It was a chance. But, but he lost the ball. There was Barcelona. missing another player down beneath yeah. him. But they try again. I think they yes. will try this again and then maybe they yes. realize that there should be another one. And that would be really a dangerous situation for Zürich. Another scrum at the surface. But now Barcelona is in ball possession. Again. Number 15, Barcelona. Carlos Santiveri, is really fast. It's one of our buddies. Hold up and one of the Zürich players. Another player. Passing to... Dani, but he couldn't get hold of the ball, so we're in ball position of Zurich here playing in blue. In the second half of game 50. But both teams are not really successful when when having a counter attack. It's yeah. just a single person coming yes. <coughs> forward with the ball and then a second partner would be helpful for completing the attack the counter. Yeah, but it's a really fast game. You see both teams are equally strong trying to get in there um, doing the counter attacks and maybe they they don't take their time when they're at the opponent in basket to establish an attack quite well to play out the, uh, the corner to, to buy some time. I think they, they need to calm down a little bit and when they're it, both teams actually when they're at the corner trying to uh, establish an attack lies slowly from out the close corner that would be um, I think this will change the game would I yeah, it would change agree. would change the game great and but when you when you have an encounter uh, you're having the ball and then you swim the counter attack you're yeah. trying your fastest way over to the other basket and you just need to decide in a milli of millisecond, yes. as you said before. What you do. We have another big scrum at the middle of the pool. You see number three of Barcelona called Buddha here. Um, no, Buddha. No, yeah, Buddha. Um, and that's a referee call from. A, was it the head referee? Let's see what he calls. The time stopped. I think that is cut time out for Diese Seite is Barcelona. We Should couldn't see a clear yeah. signal from the referee, but we have a time out by Zurich. So we see here Barcelona and girls supporting uh, the men's team and I think they all gather together, breathe a little bit, getting in there, uh, trying to really do their job there. Like roughly seven, six minutes left of this game. Yeah, I was just thinking how many minutes do we have still that one team can succeed yeah. or win the game? 20 seconds left and I think they discussed the final strategy to bring everything in and put all the, all the power they still have and score finally. Yes. Both teams will do the same so we are even on a higher level in the, in the next few minutes Yes. and on the same equalizing part. Maybe it's coming to a shooting after because no one of the team will score. Which one will score? When nobody scores, it goes to penalty shootout. Yeah. Um, I can't really take sides here because I know some of the Zurich players as well. They're playing in my team, um, but I know the Barcelona team quite well too. 
So, uh, may the best team win. Now we see a really strong attack. That's what we were missing here. Three, four people, and that's a goal. There was there, the Barcelona were attacking goal. and not alone. They were really in the wave. They were around the basket. Two, three Barcelona players. I couldn't see who did it. I saw number seven, Leonardo Abdego Aki, um, trying to do it in, but there was another player coming, uh, helping him. Nearly five minutes left. Yes. Four and 40 seconds. So and they really gathered in this one minute timeout. But now we see Zurich attacking also really strong. They had the Barcelona in basket, trying to get in there as well. Um, but we're tackled away by Camilo Gaetan, number nine, going up to the surface. And there's still the chance that they can score as well. Yes, definitely. Because they are running in with the same intention, with the same power and motivation. Yes, and right now we, we see now number 69, Juan has the ball, but it was referee call. It's a free throw against Barcelona for, it looked like holding, but we didn't see a clear signal from the referee here. And nice attack. We see here a block position of one of the three plays, but he goes up at well. Uh, the defense of Barcelona tried to get hold of the ball. Um, but lost it again, and now we see a lot of Zurich players down here to receive the ball of the scrum in case it drops. And now we, the scrum is moving towards the Zurich basket. Yeah, they put all in to tackle away the Zurich players, and still the Zurich players are just not closed in a team going down. There's yes. one person and then tackled away, there's not fast help, but I think there is still a chance. Maybe a counter attack fast enough yes. could change the situation. So we still had a scrum at the circle. Three minutes here to play. Siri get hold of the ball, trying to um, check forward. Still at the surface playing. I see much more surface playing here than in the yeah. first half of the game, uh, but less um, free throws. And Siri players now. Yeah. Yeah, they're really trying to get in there, playing around the bus and coming from the open side, attacking the goalie. But there's uh, number 15, Carlos, uh, the forward, holding onto the ball, getting a uh, catch of it. And now he tries, he passes down to Alexis, number 81, trying to check forward but going up again. There was missing one player down there, but Barcelona now is attacking in a really wave, but going up. I think they are tired from the weekend. And um, But right now we see nice established around the basket, some Barcelona players, but Zurich is really defending very well with a lot of players down here. But as you said, yes. Barcelona <sighs> coming in a wave and not alone, waiting for the ball close to the basket. And they are there, doing their game. That That's the first free throw for attacking the mask for Barcelona against Zurich. Okay. I was just about to say that could be a chance for a second scoring for Barcelona. But they were really close. And so still there's Chef coming in, Precise passing nicely. Passes. And there we see, like, that's the wave we talked about there, two, three blades down there. But um, yeah. Zurich is aware of that now, tr coming down, tackling away, or even scrumming up to the surface. It was almost Clear a ball position loss. Playing. That could be the next chance for Barcelona. We see here number three, Buddha, trying to make the pass. And then from the close side, that was number... Oh, I couldn't see the number, but did somebody see who it was? There he comes out, far to the right. Um, I don't know who did the goal. So, 20 seconds left for the second half of this game. That means... 
Barcelona will win this game number 50 of two the zero. Champion Cup. 2-0. Yes. Right. Yeah, it could be Alejo who did the goal. I couldn't get a clear image. And oh, that's it. That's, that's end so of game 50 here at Champions Cup 2019 live from Berlin. Barcelona is um, with this win in ninth uh, of uh, the men's. In the ninth position, mm -hmm. right. And From 13 uh, teams playing here. And Zurich goes then with the 10th place home. That was the last game for this tournament. We saw really nice playing here from both teams, attacking and establishing an attack and also defending really well.